In this video, I'm gonna go over the first two months of owning my Mercedes CLK 63 AMG. I picked this car up in May 2021, and so far I've driven almost 3,000 kilometers, so the car is now up to 30,600 kilometers, which is about 19,000 miles. One of the first things that I did with this car was to add spacers to the rear wheels. I find that Mercedes sunk the rear wheels a bit too far inwards. So to counter this, I got 10 mm H&R wheel spacers as well as longer wheel bolts to match. After carefully mounting them and torquing the wheels, I am happy with how the wheels fit in the fenders. The next thing I did was to inspect everything under the hood. I proceeded to change the spark plugs because of their age and I also cleaned the MAF sensors. Then, I changed the engine oil and filter. Moving on, I found that the trunk partition gas struts were worn out and not holding all the way back, which would occasionally not let you lower the top. Therefore, I got a new set of struts and swapped them in, and the partition holds firmly in place now. Next, I replaced the amber bulbs in the headlights with chrome stealth bulbs which hide the orange of the turn signal when it is off and improves the look of the headlights. The interior of the CLK is in excellent shape as expected of only 30,000 kilometers of use. However, the center vent trim piece had a tacky surface and this seems to be a problem for almost all CLKs. Fortunately, Mercedes still sells a replacement trim piece and it snaps right in and makes the dashboard look brand new. I then treated the seats with the Leather Reek Rejuvenator Oil and Pristine Clean to help keep the leather supple and maintain that factory matte finish. On the exterior of the car, there were a few door dings that had to be fixed. I had Pack from Vancouver Dent Pro take care of all of the door dings with the paintless dent removal process. Since the paint on this car is all original, it's great that the dings can be removed without compromising anything. I also removed the paint protection film that was installed all the way back when the car was new. Luckily, it removed pretty easily with just a little bit of heat. A quick machine polish removed any residue from the film. The Designo graphite paint looks amazing with its metallic finish, and I'm glad the paint protection film preserved it. Now that the car is more dialed into my liking, it's truly a joy to drive. I like the spec of this car, and I like that it has every option that was offered in Canada. The interesting thing is that the Bi-Xenon headlights were standard in Canada, whereas they were optional in the US, and I think the car looks a lot better with the Xenon lights. This is definitely a fast convertible. According to Car and Driver magazine, this CLK 63 was only one tenth of a second slower than the Black Series through the quarter mile. A lot of you commented in the first video about the dual tip exhaust on the convertible. Yes, it is the only 63 car to ever have the exhaust set up like this. Mercedes likely did this because of the design of the trunk floor being different than that of the coupe version, which did receive quad exhaust tips. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and if you want to support the channel, take a look at my store, link is in the description. If you want to see more AMG content, subscribe and tap the bell for more videos like this.